20 years ago, I moved to Brighton from being in an industry where I was running bars and clubs. But my father said to me, moving forward, it'd be best to get a skill set or a trade. After months of searching what I thought was a trade, from building to mechanics, I met a hairdresser, instantly fell in love with his passion, gave up my career in running bars and clubs and, and started my career in hairdressing. Being kind of one of the first to start taking barbering out and doing pop-up events, taking it away from the barber shop, it kind of crossed over and the only people that at that time were tattooists. They were guest spotting, they were traveling the world, they were doing conventions. And I came up with the idea and we pushed it and it's, um, you know, and it's still growing. So we have three locations. The, the original OG shop is in Brighton. The second shop is in Bristol and the third shop is in London. My motivation comes from the passion. I kind of fell in love with barbering and hair. You know, the first moment I kind of set foot into a salon and then it's pushed through to me opening up shops. Now that I've got Ruby and Frank and then obviously Anna, my wife, that's the motivation that pushes me more. You know, illness within my family, you know, with Frank's fight at the moment, the struggles with that. There's dark sides to it, but you're always going to face troubles. You're always going to face you know, difficulties. I have to be able to kind of acknowledge that and, and try and push through. The best thing is being able to do what I love, being able to provide for Anna and the kids, and then be able to kind of show them what I was taught when I was a kid. And that's hopefully going to instill with them and then we can kind of keep that process going into their kind of lives and wherever they want to go. I don't care what they do. You know, I just want them to be happy. Mm -hmm.